We're here at the Delta Grand Hotel for the finale of the Stone Soup Chef competition. What started out with eight chefs, we're now down to two. And uh, let's have a little recap of how that competition has gone so far. On saw Chef Ian Skippen from Summerland's local lounge and grill take on Chef Jeff Kreklaw from Cabana in Kelowna. Chef Ian was so fast he had time to make an extra soup for the next meal. But in the end, Chef Jeff's roasted garlic and potato soup wins the day. Round two is a rematch as Chef Stuart Klassen takes on the man who beat him last year, Chef Ross Derrick. In the end, Chef Stuart's bacon onion potato soup with mini grilled cheese sandwiches earns him the title of Delta Grant Champion and evens the score between them. In round three, Chef Jeremy Lupin blends two soups in one bowl. But it's Chef Evelyn's spicy mulligatawny with Yorkshire pudding garnish that warms the judges and she advances to the semifinals. Round four is a last preliminary round and sees Chef Malcolm Gibb from Ontario stir things up with Chef John Bailey from the Lake Okanagan Resort. And since the gospel mission is a bit low on cheese, he just makes his own and pulls off the win. The semi-finals kick off with Chef Evelyn taking on Chef Jeff. Chef Evelyn creates a roasted harvest soup topped with black tea cream and fried beet spirals. But it's Chef Jeff's bacon tomato rice soup with tuna melt scones that earns him the win and a place in the finals. Chef Malcolm goes for the spuds with a potato bacon soup and stuffed potato skin garnish, while Chef Stewart scores a small box of root vegetables. When the ballots are counted, the winner and finalist is Chef Malcolm, who now faces off with Chef Jeff for the title of Stone Soup Champion 2012. Yep, it's all here, it's all veiled. Nobody knows what it is, and we'll see in a minute what they're gonna get. At three o'clock, the chefs arrived at the Delta Grand Hotel for the unveiling of the ingredients they would get to choose from. So uh, what are we gonna use? What are we gonna use as a protein here? Uh, with five minutes to study the tray and an hour to prepare, the chefs go in different directions. Seafood, uh, gumbo style, we're making a nice rich dark tomato sauce, sausage, mussels, uh, lots of roasted vegetables. You're gonna get a lot of flavor out of it. We're gonna do a Thai, Thai influenced uh, chicken soup, so. I think um, that's our uh, best bet right now, I think. <laughs> At 7 o'clock, the chefs met back at the hotel and had exactly one hour to pull together something that would impress the judges. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, man. Awesome. That fun. <laughs> um, this is my chicken that's been braised for the last couple hours, so some good, good stuff happening. And what do you think of the selection you were given? Oh, we got some great ingredients. We're pretty excited, you know. It's pretty nice to see that, uh, considering that we all got the same ingredients, that we're going in two completely different directions and making some great soups out of both. When we put that list together, we, I knew that they would go either one way or the other. When you have coconut milk and lemongrass and Thai chilies and red chili paste, somebody's going to make a Thai soup, somebody's going to make a coconut cream soup. And then the other side of the, the coin is we put in a case of black beans and crushed tomatoes. And so you kind of guide them in the way you want them. So the soups are so different that they're easier to judge. For the, uh, the flavor? I don't know, flavor's good. It's just the, the heat, right? That's what I'm worried about, but I mean, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. It's it is Thai. What it is. Thai yeah. is hot food, right? That's, <laughs> that's true. I'll go on the chips. Those are uh, gonna be uh, carrot chips. It's gonna be, uh, we're gonna season them with uh, some cumin, uh, cumin salt that we made. And that's just gonna be a garnish on our soups, so. Like deep fried carrots? Deep fried carrots, it's it, yeah. Uh, we have a, a thickening agent inside of the uh, inside of our uh, lime, curry, and cumin uh, lobster stock. We're dropping it into cold oil, and it uh, creates a sphere around the oil. And then we're going to be using them as garnishes. And make sure it doesn't. Le oh, this one's leaking. As the chefs cook, guests of the gala look on in the kitchen and mingle in the ballroom, bidding on silent auction items to benefit the Kelowna Gospel Mission. Okay, Malcolm, you've got 15 minutes left. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling good. We've pretty much got everything uh, together that we want. So, um, yeah, so it's just, just a matter of uh, just getting, finishing off, getting the rest, uh, getting all the flavors together on the soup. So. But otherwise, I think we're, we're looking pretty good, so feeling good about it. Things are starting to come together. Flavors are, flavors are going well. We're pretty excited the way things are going. All the little garnishes are turning out, and it's just a matter of putting the finishing touches on right at the last minute, so everything's cooked really well and perfect for the judges. Muscles are on. Just about ready. You have 
have uh, three minutes left. Okay. And once that three minutes is up, you have to stop cooking. <laughs> Gumbo style soup. Quick, 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 quick. Five seconds. Quick. All right, Jeff. Two, Jeff. one, time's up. No more seasoning, no more anything. Chefs are done. Congratulations. Chef, chef, chef. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Feeling good about it. Yeah, confident. I think we got a winner. Yeah, we, we before we finished, we had a really good game plan when we came in, and things went together really smooth at the end. Chef Jeff plates first with his seafood gumbo with pancetta and mussels, and crispy potato straw and right. chili pearls. Thanks. The judging panel is made up of top local chefs who took part in the competition. Chef Malcolm plates next with his Thai coconut okay. chicken soup with cumin carrot chips. For good? Just, uh, moment of truth right here. While the judges deliberate, the chefs serve the guests who also get an opportunity to cast a vote. Um, this year's 2012 Stone Soup Chef goes to Malcolm. Yeah. I'm shocked. I'm, this is awesome. I'm just really happy and uh, that we can be a part of this. So the winner of the People's Choice Award is Jeff from Cabana. So it's a lot quieter here in the kitchen, and that's it for the third annual Stone Soup Chef competition. Both chefs won an award tonight, but the real winners are the clients of the Kelowna Gospel Mission. For Shaw TV, this is Lori Wellborn.